In today's video, it's just going to be a little tech review. I'm going to tell you all about this little flash drive product and how it's helped save my life on, uh, you know, when I get too full of data and everything like that. Too many videos, too many photos, too many files. It's just something that's rather easy. Plug in the back of your iPad or your iPhone product and start downloading videos and photos. Uh, guys, this thing's been a lifesaver for me. I told you when I had good products, I'd bring them on here and review them for you. Uh, this iExpand by ScanDisk is an amazing product. Uh, it's a lot quicker than the cloud. I've got the Apple Cloud. Uh, this thing transfers files so much quicker, saves me so much time. So I know I've got a few YouTube channels that follow me. Um, if you do your stuff on an iPhone, this is something that will help you out. Plus, if you're just a regular artist, you know, and you're always snapping pictures of stuff, taking videos, stuff like that. Or if you're getting ready to go on a vacation, you want to clean your phone out because you don't know how many photos you're going to take of, you know, you and your kids. Uh, this is a good little product, I'll tell you that. So I'll, uh, I'll go through a little rundown on here and we'll show some screen recordings and uh, kind of go over some stuff. But it will uh, take all your data and everything. Also, if you want to go and download everything off of your Facebook and your Instagram, Say if you wanna start a new page or something like that, and you're like, oh, I got all these photos on this Facebook page, but I wanna put them over here. Uh, it can do all that. So, great product, and I'll leave all the links in the description below. Um, we'll go over it right now. Cool. <laughs> okay, so here it is, just kind of a close up of what it looks like, plug it in. And then this is kind of some of the stuff that they offer right here. Today I'm just going to go over this one in the middle, uh, the iXpand flash drive for iPhone and iPad. Uh, that's the one that I have, so that's what I'm going to go over. <laughs> okay, so if you want to pause this right here and read this, you can. But it basically just goes over and says it's got a USB 3.0 connector and it'll transfer the data pretty quick. Kind of basically the gist of that and what it can do. Um, this can also be shared along the iProducts, so say if you have a movie on your phone and your kid's got an iPad in the back seat or something like that, or, you know, family, friend, whatever, um, you can take the video off of that and put it on the other one, you know, just through the USB flash drive, so it doesn't even have to store it on the iPad. You can um, actually just view it, you know, inside the uh, iExpand app. Uh, they do make them in various sizes, um, 256 gig all the way down to 32. I've got the 64, and uh, it works pretty good for me. You know, I cleared off about 20, 30 gigs at a time, and it goes pretty quick. Uh, uh, here we are just kind of going into the app, opening it up, and uh, just showing you that. Okay, so now we are inside this app, and you can kind of see the bar on the top. It says backing up three of 584 photos. And you can see that I only have 16 gigs free on my iPad right here. And I cleaned the USB out the last time I used it, so it has 53 free. So right there, I'm just kind of going down and showing you the space that it shows available on my iPad. Okay, and in here too, you can uh, name your files and everything like that. Um, I just named it iPhone Backup June 2019. It's got my contacts in there and a little bit of my music and stuff like that. And then some other videos that I brought from the PC to the USB to put on the iPad to edit. All right, well, there that is again. And then we're gonna start in on this and it'll show you a little bit on the computer. Oh man, this is uh, this is my phone. Look at how full my phone was, man. This thing was crazy full. So yeah, I definitely had to clean this thing out. Okay, here we are on the computer. All right, so I plug it into the side of the computer right there and then um, just kind of go through and start checking stuff to make sure all the videos and everything are in there. And then I make a new file for June 2019 for the backup on it. And then I go in and I check everything and make sure that you know the flash drive actually has it in there. And then this is just a little tidbit of the video that I just showed you guys. So it's all in there. And then I start transferring it to the picture files on the PC. And this is actually like the data, you know, change in place on the PC right now off of the flash drive. So it goes pretty quick. And the computer went to sleep, came back, checked it all, made sure it was all there. 
and there it is all my pictures came through and everything just checking them out make sure they're on the PC now so it's actually on the computer and so now what I'm gonna go and do is go back through the flash drive and um, actually uh, clean off all the files that were on there from before so that's just what I'm doing right here kind of zoomed in on it and just showing me deleting them and getting the flash drive all ready to go for the next time around that way it makes it easier if you empty it out so it's not full again the next time you go to use it and man that's everything for my phone right there man that thing was full okay and now since everything's on the computer you can go back into your phone and uh, delete some of the videos it has an automatic feature but I like to do it manually just to make sure that you know I take off of there only the things that I want to and leave some things on there that I do want to okay just want to throw that in there too um, but yeah freed up a lot of space on my phone and on my iPad and this is a very helpful tool that um, I've came to love so if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, if you want to see more videos on technology, let me know. Okay, later. Bye-bye. <laughs>